Yeah, everyone gets scared. So anybody who tells you they don't get scared is a liar. But that's the reason you do it. That feeling you sort of get a little bit addicted to, that feeling of nervousness. The problem is that the more you do, the, you know, the harder you have to go to get that feeling again. Being a stuntman, it's what you dream of as a kid. Three, two, one, action! <laughs> You know, there's still that magic of making films. Just that bit of beauty that you're making something that's timeless. The whole stunt side has always been interesting to me. Not for any other reason bar the fact that I love the challenge. The evolution of stunts is a celebration of some of the greatest stunts in cinema history. The idea is to take what we've seen on the movies and then try and build upon that it's a super cut, it's a montage. It's a nice way to pay homage to the older stunt guys, Buster Keaton, Howard Lloyd, but we're trying to do it all on a treadmill in one spot. The tricky part is trying to find a way that all these stunts link together. There's a lot of technology in this film. There's a whole team of people working on the projections alone. We can do so much more than if we were building physical sets. Every scene fills itself around Damien. I really want to attempt all these stunts just because it's a challenge. You have to have a good relationship with your, your stunt crew. You know, the people that you're working with, you, you get a very special bond. You learn to put your safety in their hands. I have to hit my marks, they're going to hit their mark. You learn the fight, you associate a face for a movement with a certain action. And that's the idea that we keep rehearsing and keep rehearsing and trying to eliminate the, the chance of things going wrong. Obviously with the house floor, we mark where the hole is on the floor and we slowly took the building up. So I knew that when I did the Howard Lloyd roll on the top of the head, when I land in the spot on that time, I can see it out of the corner of my eye start to come down. And play. The fire is the big one. While it's working, it's fine. But when it goes wrong, it goes wrong fast. That's why we've flown Greg all the way from Australia, is because I know his product, I know his suit, and we worked well together before. You have to be very careful and very thoughtful. You can't just thrash around wildly because you can breathe in the flames, they can get in your eyes. And what we need in a fire stunt is that the performer is moving forward and the flames stay behind his head. Because Damien is walking on a treadmill, he's actually standing still. So what we've added to this situation is a fan that keeps the flames behind him. You have to get scared. You know, if you don't get scared, then where's the fun in it? That feeling you sort of get a little bit addicted to, that feeling of nervousness. How many people can say they've done all these stunts in one place at one time? And camera and speed. Playback! 